สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n s a and today is Wednesday, August 25th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PDCPhuket.com. A video has gone viral here in Thailand where a police officer is seen placing a plastic bag over a suspect's head, which killed the man, all in an apparent botched attempt to extort two million baht out of him. Arrest warrants are now out for seven cops who were involved. The whole thing came to light earlier this week when a subordinate officer at the station in Nakhon s a w a n s Muang district filed a complaint, prompting Royal Thai Police to launch an investigation. The video clip, however, was not posted until Tuesday by a lawyer on Facebook. The nearly three-minute clip shows the incident from August 6th. Officers surround the suspect, later identified as 24-year-old Jida Pong Tanapat. One officer places a bag over his head, beats him, and the others hold him down as the suspect struggles. The bag is over the man's head for just over one full minute before they take it off as he slumps to the ground. Which is when officers then try to revive him, even splashing water over his head. The victim had been arrested earlier with his wife, found with 100,000 methamphetamine tablets. According to reports, the police had agreed to release j i t a p o n g and his wife for 1 million baht. Reports say this changed when police colonel Titi San Utanapon arrived and demanded double that amount. As they discussed, one of the officers placed a bag over the man's head to intimidate him. After the victim was suffocated to death at the hands of police, reports say that police colonel Titi San instructed his team to report the death as a drug overdose, and they released the wife if she agreed to remain silent, according to reports. In the fallout, an initial investigation found there were 13 cops involved. So far, arrest warrants have been approved for seven officers from the Konsawan's Muang police station, all of whom have been sacked from the force, four of whom have already been detained. There are also six people of interest in the case, and border police have been alerted in case any one of these people try to flee the country. Police Colonel Titi San is still at large. He's also known by another name in the police force, Joe Ferrari, for his love of expensive sports cars, including a Lamborghini Limited Edition Aventador LP 724, a 50th anniversary special, and he's reportedly the first Thai to own this car. An investigation is now underway. For more. Visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket hit a record 156 local COVID infections on Tuesday night, and with the two Phuket sandbox infections, Tuesday's daily total was 158 cases on the island. At the moment, 1,226 people are receiving medical care. There have been 3,111 COVID cases since the pandemic began, and 2,881 since early April. In addition, one new COVID death was reported, although no details were provided. This month, Phuket has seen six total COVID deaths, according to officials. Zooming out to Thailand, 297 COVID fatalities have been confirmed for today, along with 18,417 cases. The death toll has now surpassed 10,000 since the pandemic began, while cases have risen to 1,102,368 total. The formal request for nearly half a million doses of a COVID booster shot has been made by Phuket officials, while registration for the Moderna vaccine will begin on September 1st for five specific groups of people. Registration for five prioritized groups of people to be vaccinated for COVID with Moderna will open next Wednesday, September 1st, according to the Obo Jal or the Phuket Provincial Administrative Organization. Registration for these people will be from the 1st to the 15th of September. For vaccinations, take place in October whenever the Moderna doses arrive on the island. Meanwhile, the Phuket Provincial Government has filed a formal request for 470,000 doses of COVID vaccines to provide as a third booster jab in Phuket. Vashira Phuket Hospital Director Dr. c h a l a m p o n g s u k a n t a p o n said, quote, Right now, our number of new infected cases has been increasing every day because we have been conducting proactive screening in communities across the island. Most of the new cases are green patients who are already fully vaccinated with two doses of Sinovac. They do not have any symptoms or have only light symptoms, just like having a normal cold. They are taken to the field hospitals and the COVID-19 care centers, which are now being set up in every subdistrict on the island. Our health officers and staff have closely checked their symptoms while they are in quarantine at the venues. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this.
quality guaranteed since 2012. Call Emman Painting today. Transform your pool within a week. Call us today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The Phuket Regional Blood Center at Sapan Hen in Phuket Town is in urgent need of blood donors for a long-term Phuket expat who cannot undergo open heart surgery without it. His blood type is B negative, which is rare in the kingdom. He can receive donations from B negative or O negative donors only. Details on how to donate are on your screen. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The Pfizer vaccine could receive full approval by the Thai Food and Drug Administration within 30 days if they receive all the information about its COVID vaccine soon. Pfizer was approved for emergency use in Thailand back in late June, and the government has secured over 30 million doses that should arrive by the year's end. While the vaccine is approved for emergency use in Thailand, if the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccine is given full Thai approval, then hospitals nationwide would then be allowed to purchase the vaccine on their own without having to go through the government, which is what they currently have to do because of the rules over emergency vaccine approvals. Thai FDA officials are optimistic that they will receive all the required information from the pharmaceutical giant to make Pfizer the first COVID vaccine to receive full approval here in Thailand. The news comes after the US FDA gave full approval for the Pfizer COVID vaccine earlier this week. Thanks again for joining us today here on Phuket Extra brought to you by pbcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.